Hello, so when I made my original PC build video back in February, I think, um, I compared it to the Alienware X51 and the Apple iMac Mini, and I got a lot of hate for not it not being small form factor, it being mid-tower, um, and so I kind of made this video to have a small form factor build in my video series. So let's jump right off and go on to the processor, which is a Intel Core i5-2400 at 3.1 GHz. So, it's fast, it's a quad-core, not an i3 where they have two cores, but they have hyper-threading, which this would be faster. Plus, Micro Center is having an amazing deal. They apparently think that uh, Sandy Bridge is being, being phased out, which I don't think it is. I haven't heard that, but maybe it is. Uh, it is $140 which is incredible. Newegg has this for like 200 bucks, And they actually have, if you want to upgrade to the 2500K, which you need a different motherboard, we'll get to that in a minute, that's only 160 bucks. So great deals there. Motherboard, we're going to be using an AS Rock H77 Pro 4M. It's H77, which is the 7 series chipset, so it's a new chipset, so if you want to upgrade to Ivy Bridge, it's going to be fully compatible. I know Sandy Bridge uh, motherboards are compatible, but it's best just to have two technologies that kind of align. It's got all the ports we need for hard drive, it's got four DIMM slots, it actually has Crossfire support, or maybe, it has two uh, X16 slots, so I'll have to check that out. But then for RAM, we have Corsair XMS, uh, this is... 8 gigs of DDR3 1600 megahertz. It's small, so not getting all the uh, space in that case all clunked up. 1600 megahertz is very fast. I have this. It's perfect. 8 gigs is more than enough for anything. Um, and next we have a Hiss for the GPU. We have a Hiss iCooler Cooler Radeon HD 7750. It's 110 bucks. This is a, I like this video card for a number of reasons. A, it outperforms a 550Ti, which is pretty good in its own right. It can max out Skyrim at 1080p. It requires no external power, which is great for our power supply, which we'll get to in a minute. And it's the new 7000 series chipset. Don't, don't think just because this needs PCI 3.0, though, that you should upgrade to Ivy Bridge so you have that. Because this is such a low, kind of, lower performance card, it's not going to benefit at all from... Uh, 3.0 because it's probably not even using up all the uh, bandwidth it has at uh, 2.0 speed. For the case slash power supply, we're going to be using the Antec Minute. I have no idea how to say that. It's probably French. Uh, 350. It also comes with a 350 watt power supply. Now, I went. Usually, I would be kind of fearful of case with power supply. This is Antec. Uh, they make power supplies. They're very well known for it. 350 watts is Borderline, it's pretty good for this, considering the graphics only uses around 70 watts. And it's 80 plus, which you'll never ice. You will never get that unless you buy Rosewill, which is, they don't have any cases that are this small with that on power. You will never get 80 plus in the built in uh, with a power supply of the case. Just never. Plus, the case is also very nice. It has uh, all the ports. It's super small. Uh, it doesn't have LEDs, though, which, I mean, why would you need those? But if you really want LEDs, you can probably take out the uh, 80 millimeter fan that's included and pop in one that has like LEDs. Like I have a blue LED one on my case right now. For hard drive, we're going to be using a Western Digital Caviar Blue. It's 500 gigabytes, 7200 RPM. It's fast. It's fast enough, so your operating system will be nice and responsive, and your games will load pretty quick. It's not. It's not a terabyte at, as the X51 has. But I don't really feel, I'm not a storage freak, like, I need so much storage. Like, I have a 160 gig SSD and a 500 gig hard drive from Hitachi in my rig, and I haven't even used half that hard drive up yet. Filled up my SSD, though, and I just, I'm a power user, so I pull lots of stuff on there. <laughs> For DVD, we're going to be using an LG DV burner. Uh, the Super Multi one I had in my Diablo build, I found out after I went on Newegg, is no longer available since apparently, or it's been renamed since, you know, companies are like, why bother giving our DVD burners fancy names or we're just going to sell them for dirt cheap. And then, of course, we're going to be using Windows 7 Home Premium OEM. Find it around the internet for about 100 bucks, so 
kind of need Windows. And now I'm going to compare it to the Alienware X51. So this is the base model I'm going to be using with the Core i3 and the GeForce GTX 545. Okay, so first off, the reasons this is better is that it's a much better CPU. So the central processing unit is going to be a lot faster than i5 to an i3. i5 will win any day. It's going to be loads enough for high CPU stress in games like Civilization V, StarCraft, and Battlefield 3 multiplayer is actually pretty CPU intensive, all the physics and that. Also has a higher tech motherboard, so the H77 versus H67. So it's also got support for Ivy Bridge, which of course is good going into the future if you want to upgrade like an i7 or something like that. Uh, it's got much more upgradability. You can put in an SSD, which you, there's no there's no other hard drive mount in the um, Alienware. It's like I think it's glued in or something like that, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but it's a lot more upgradable, so you got IV bridge, you can put in a new um, power, well, not power supply actually, no, but you can swap it out for a Blu-ray drive if you later want, which you can't do with the X51. And then of course, um, the graphics card is newer and faster and uses less power, which also, because of the 80 plus and how efficient the 7750 is, you're going to see less of a damage on your power on your power bill, which, of course, is always good. The RAM also you have more RAM and it's faster. This is going to be good for like when you have a billion tabs open in Internet Explorer, which I do this quite often. But um, eight gigs isn't exactly enough for video editing, so if you're going to do that, I would recommend buying another set of uh, Corsair RAM. You have to find the same set of RAM. It's usually good to find the same set of RAM when you're running two dual channels. They don't have to be. All they have to do is have the same capacity and speed, but usually it's good to have the same brand and model. So I'm not going to be doing the comparison to the Mac Mini because I don't feel that's very fair because they're two different computers for two different purposes. So see you later and goodbye.